Welcome to our new incoming students to the Barbara Ingram School for the Arts for the 2020-2021 school year. We're especially excited about this year with the addition of our academic building and the addition of our two new programs. Even though we can't meet in person during this time, we wanted to make sure we get as much information out to you as we can for the fall. If you have any questions, please reach out, call, or email, and we'll try to get those answers to you right away. So let's begin. First, a little history. Early 1900s, and this is a look down South Potomac Street in Hagerstown. And you will notice the building that would become Bisfa is there, and it was built in 1901, one of the oldest buildings on the street. And here is the same picture taken a few days ago, and not only the renovated Bisfa building, but the new Vincent Grow Academic Building and the new Maryland Theater. Barbara Ingram opened its doors in 2009 and just recently celebrated its 10-year celebration. The school has had so many outstanding students attend. The school has made a name for itself in the arts world, but also in the academic world, most recently being named again to the top high schools in the country. This year, Bisfield was ranked 8th best high school in Maryland and 359th in the nation by U.S. News and World Report. The mission and the vision were painstakingly created before the school's creation to guide in the decisions that are made. I know the mission and vision looks very wordy, but every word is placed for a reason, and the order of the words is also very important. To save time, I'm going to take the mission and vision and break it down into the main bullets. And again, you'll notice the words and their order are very, very important. We'd like to take these bullets now and break them down even further into our five main statements that identify what we call our culture of excellence. So the first, rigorous, comprehensive college preparatory curriculum. This is first and foremost the most important thing, a rigorous, comprehensive college prep experience. Now that is not to say that you have to go to college when you leave here, but when you leave, you will have the skills to take you wherever you want to go. The next, intense pre-professional training in the arts. And this is what we're known for, because when everybody looks at Barbara Ingham School for the Arts, they think of an arts school. But that is actually the second statement down. Now, when I say arts, I also mean our fine arts, our performing arts, and our new technical arts programs. Here, you will live your life like a professional in that field, learning all there is to learn about your craft in a real-world environment. And then the final three are what we gain and what we will expect of everybody here. Personal development, disciplined attitude, and a personal responsibility. And if you can master those three characteristics, you will master anything. You will be very busy here, and it will be critical for you to communicate and receive communication. This is our website. You can reach it like any other school in the county. It's attached to the county site, and I would suggest that you please mark this site. This is a general location where you can find information about upcoming events and news. It is also a place to get documents or links that are needed. If you look through the documents and links, you will see just about anything you need for the school. We also have a newsletter, and you can subscribe to that newsletter from our links on this page. Dr. Anders is our lead teacher, 
and she manages our social media footprint. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now to go through some numbers to put everything in context. We have 35 full-time staff members and a variety of adjunct teachers who are professionals in the field. Some only work a few hours a week and some work much more. These are our dedicated, specific professionals to the different categories of each uh, program. We had 285 students audition this year and 108 students have been accepted. Those students represent schools across Washington County, out of county, out of state, private school, and home schools. Now this slide shows you a current look at the numbers per grade and per discipline. We will have about 380 students school-wide this year between the eight different programs. Now some basics about the school. First of all, the school day. To fit in all the academic and special arts classes, our school is actually an hour longer than other area high schools. Classes begin at 9.05 and they end at 4.27. Freshmen and sophomore students will study their art tech programs in the mid-morning and academics in the afternoon. Juniors and senior students will study academics in the morning and their art tech programs in the afternoon. Lunch will be available through Washington County Public School Food Services. Students may also bring lunch from home. Students will eat their meals in the new cafeteria in our Vincent Grow Academic Center. Barbara Ingram School students will also be supervised by school staff during the school day. The school health clinic is located on the third floor of the Barbara Ingram building. Bus transportation will be provided between Barbara Ingram and all Washington County high schools. Students will ride their designated morning bus to their home high school and then pick up a shuttle bus at their home high school to be transported to Barbara Ingram. In the afternoon, buses will transport students back to the home high school and then parents are responsible for transportation from the home school at that point. Students can also drive, get dropped off, walk, or even ride a bike to school. You will be receiving this chart later with updated information and this chart just shows you what it would look like depending on where you are catching the bus. Hi everyone, I'm Samantha Murphy, the school counselor here at Barbara Ingram School for the Arts. Really quickly, I just wanted to go over with all of you some details regarding our scheduling process as well as our enrollment process. So first of all, if you look at the first slide here, there's a link at the top that says meet the counselor. This will take you to a letter from myself that just details my role as the school counselor here at VISPA, as well as will give you some more detailed information regarding scheduling and a link crew event we have coming up. And I will get more into that as we progress through the slides, but I strongly encourage you all to click on the link and read my letter, it will also share my contact information with you. As we move on to the next slide, we will see graduation requirements. Our graduation requirements at VISFA are the same as any other public high school in Maryland. We do require four English credits, which students take in grades nine through 12. You take in English every year. For social studies, we require three credits, which are U.S. Studies, Government, and World History, and usually students take these in 9th, 10th, and 11th grades. For math, we require four credits, which have to include Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2, plus an additional math credit past Algebra 2. Some of you might be coming into high school with a math credit from middle school, which is great. All that will mean is that you do have to take another math credit your senior year, and you will actually graduate with five math credits instead of four. For science, we require three credits. One of those does have to be biology, and the other two are your choice. 
For foreign language, we offer Spanish and French at BISFA, and we do require that you take two levels or two credits of the same foreign language. So what that means is you have to take French one and two or Spanish one and two. We do offer up to AP Spanish and up to French four. So if you really enjoy foreign language, you're more than welcome to continue taking the higher levels. But again, you do have to take at least two credits of the same foreign language. Then we have foundations of technology. So we do require one credit of that. And we are aware that many of you take this in middle school, which is fine. If you come into the high school level with foundations of tech already on your transcript, you will just be placed into a study hall during that period instead. We do want to note that high school level foundations of technology is different than the basic middle school tech ed classes. So if you think you are receiving foundations of tech credit in middle school, you just want to check with your middle school to make sure that you are taking the high school level, level foundations of tech course. And then lastly, we do require one credit of PE, one credit of health, and one fine arts credit. The fine arts credit is not something you have to take additionally, and it is covered within your art department. We do require the same high school assessments and requirements, so you still have to take the HSAs and MCAP assessments as you would at any other public Maryland high school. We also require 75 student service learning hours. If you are coming from a public Maryland high middle school, I'm sorry, you will probably be coming in with 45 hours. And that is because in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, there are 15 hour projects built into the curriculum. So if you completed those required projects, you will be coming in with 45 hours. Now, of course, if you didn't complete those projects, you won't have the 45 hours and you will have to complete more on your own. We also give our students the opportunity to receive 15 SSL hours in our health class, but again, that is if you complete the required project. So if you complete all of the required projects that are built into the curriculum, you could possibly have 60 SSL hours, which means you only have to get 15 on your own. If you haven't completed any of the projects, then you'll have to get the 75 on your own. And if you're a current eighth grader, you can start completing those hours now. And lastly, at BISFO, we now offer two completers. We have the University of Maryland Completer Program. And due to our two new tech programs coming in, we also now offer the CTE Completer. So the requirements for that University of Maryland Completer Program are the graduation requirements that we just went over and the requirements of the CTE Completer are built within your, your department. If we look at the next slide, this lot lays out um, what your schedule could possibly look like over the next four years. So what you will see as you progress through high school, you have many more opportunities for classes. You will see that in ninth grade, you have to take English, math, social studies, your foreign language, and then we do schedule all of our ninth graders for PE, health, and FOT. Again, if you completed FOT for credit in middle school, you'll go into a study hall at that time anyway. I know we probably have some non-eighth graders listening to this presentation. So really quickly, if you look at grades 10, 11, and 12, those are the classes we offer at BISFA you will see that everything is at the honors or advanced level. We do have a lot of support and resources put into place for you guys since it is a rigorous academic schedule. If we move on to the next slide, this details the fres freshman course schedule. Again, all academic courses at Barbara Ingram are offered at the honors and AP level. 
and as I stated before, all incoming freshmen will be scheduled into Honors English 9, Honors U.S. Studies, PE, and Health Skills, and FOT. Again, if you've taken FOT, that's fine. You'll have a study hall in place. And then you will also have your math and foreign language placements. Now, your math and foreign language placements are based on appropriate high school credits earned throughout middle school. So what this means is if you are coming from a public middle school or an accredited private school and you took, let's say, Algebra 1 at that middle school and you passed the course and you feel confident moving on to the next level, you would be placed into geometry. And that's the same for foreign language. If you are coming from a public middle school or an accredited private school and you took French one or Spanish one and you did well, you got a good grade and you feel confident moving on to the next level, you could sign up for French two or Spanish two. Now you might have noticed that I said that is true for public middle schools or accredited private schools. It works a little different if you are coming from a non-accredited private school or homeschooling. So what that means, for example, is if you are coming from either of the two, so a non-accredited private school or homeschool program, and you completed Algebra 1, and you think, you know, I did really well in Algebra 1, I would like to move on to Geometry, we would have to give you a credit review test. And that credit review test is offered at Central Office on Downsville Pike. They give you a test that basically covers the entire Algebra 1 curriculum. And if you pass that test, you get the Algebra 1 credit and you are able to move on to geometry. And that is only if you are coming from a non-accredited private school or a homeschool program. And the same would hold true if you were trying to receive a foreign language credit or the Foundations of Technology credit. So again, if you are coming from a non-accredited private school or a homeschool program and wish to receive high school credit for classes you've already received, we would have to go through the credit review process. If you think that is referring to you, if the parent could just send me an email, we can go over that process uh, more detailed. But again, if you're coming from a public school or an accredited private school and you took one of these cre credits for high school credit, um, and you did well, and you feel confident moving on to the next level, you can go ahead and sign up for the next level. Some of you might have taken algebra and geometry in middle school. It is not super common, but I do know some, a couple of the middle schools in our area offer it. Your next step would be algebra two. So your math choices are algebra one, geometry, and then algebra two. And same with foreign language. I do know that some of the middle schools in our area offer Spanish 1 and 2 or French 1 and 2. So if you have successfully completed both of those classes for high school credit, you are welcome to move on to the next level. Now down at the bottom of the slide, you will see four links that say incoming ninth grader form, incoming 10th grader form, incoming 11th grader form, or incoming 12th grader form. These are the scheduling forms that I need all of you as students to fill out. So if you click on incoming ninth grader form, that would mean you are a current eighth grader. It will ask you your name, it will ask you what middle school you came from, and it will then ask you for your math and foreign language placement. We don't have to ask you for your English, and social studies placement because everyone takes the same courses. So again, it will ask you for your math placement and for your foreign language placement, 
and then it will ask you if you have taken Foundations of Tech for high school credit at the middle school level. There is also a question at the bottom that asks if you have any more questions for me. So if you do have any more questions for me, you're welcome to put them on that Google form and I will get back to you as soon as possible. There are also links for the incoming 10th through 12th graders because I know we are getting students this year that are not coming from middle school. So if you are currently in 9th, 10th, or 11th grade and coming to BISPA next year, if you could please fill out those scheduling forms by Monday, June 1st, that would be great. Okay, now we are going to talk about the non-WCPS enrollment process. So this is only for students who are not currently enrolled in a WCPS school. So. If you are currently enrolled in a WCPS middle school or high school, this is not for you, and you can just hang tight um, and not pay too much attention to this. But again, if you are not currently enrolled in a Washington County public school, this is for you. So what I need you to do is view that first link that says BISFA Enrollment Checklist. If you click on that checklist, it will take you to a document that details everything we need from you. So I want you to go ahead and click on that BISFA enrollment checklist and it will list out everything we need from you. Most of it you can gather yourself. It does ask you to complete the WCPS enrollment form, which I have linked here for you as well. So again, I need you to click on that BISFA enrollment checklist. It will detail everything we need you to gather for us. And then the only thing you need from us to fill out is that WCPS enrollment form. I'm also going to ask that you contact your current school and either ask for an unofficial transcript or if you have access to print a current grade report or report card from your parent portal, that will be sufficient as well. I just need to double check to make sure I know what classes your student is currently in. If you could gather all of those documents and send, scan and email them to myself, that would be great. And again, if you could email them all as one packet um, so I'm not getting, you know, birth certificate here, enrollment form there, that would be great. So if you could just scan all of them as one packet and email them to me, that would be great. And if you need any help with that or have any questions, you can just email me. My email is listed there. Here at Barbara Ingram, students are selected through yearly auditions. The admission process gives no consideration to past academic performance. In order to graduate, however, Barbara Ingram students must successfully meet the school's rigorous standards in both the arts and academic programs. Students will be placed on probation for any of the following. Two or more failures on a report card. Less than a 3.0, which is a B average, in the student's major less than a 2.0, which is a C average, overall grade point average, and student misconduct. Students on probation will be provided counseling and or academic assistance. We utilize our National Honor Society to help struggling students. Failure to maintain these after support and assistance will result in dismissal from the Barbara Ingram School for the Arts. But that is a last resort. If you want to be successful and are willing to work, you will be successful. Our Link Crew is a high school transition program that welcomes freshmen and makes them feel comfortable throughout the first year of their high school experience. Our selected leaders will reach out to you and help you in any way they can. Our tentative date for our Link Crew orientation is Wednesday, August 19th, 2020, 8 to 12, and we will be sending more information out about that. With the addition of our new academic building, all of our classes will be housed between the BISFA building, the Grow Academic Center, and the Maryland Theater. 
This shows you that the Bisfa building is the home of the theater, music, dance, and visual art programs. The creative writing program, as well as the computer game design and animation and the digital communication programs, are housed in the new adjacent Vincent Grow Academic Center. So let's take a quick look. This is the basement of the Bisfa building. We are now entering the Black Box Theater. This is where we have some small performances and the theater students do most of their instruction. There is a catwalk that travels over top and a connection to the new building for storage and building props. This is a trip down the second floor of the Bisfa building. This floor is dedicated to our two music programs, instrumental music and vocal music. First, a look into one of the vocal rooms. And now we will travel down the hall and look into one of our instrumental rooms. You will also notice practice rooms along the way. All the music students and the music theater students study with a lesson teacher once a week. On the third floor is our dance hall. This large assembly room can be split into two smaller rooms and is where our dancers spend most of their time. Here you will find a marley floor, windows on one side of the walls, and bars on the other. On the top of the Bisfa building is our visual arts program on the fourth floor. Here is one of our 2D classrooms, which also has a patio for painting and drawing on nice days. Next is a 3D room. We have a gas kiln, electric kiln, clay wheels, and a variety of other mediums. We also utilize a dark room for photo development and computers for digital photography. Now over to the Vincent Grove building and a quick look at the cafeteria on the first floor. Students will have their academic classes in this building. Their English classes will be on the third floor, their math, social studies, and world languages on the fourth, and our new state-of-the-art science labs on the fifth floor. The second floor will house our new technical arts programs. As we walk down the hallway, you will see lockers on each floor. First, the digital communication area. In this area, you'll see that it's being completed and you can see different sections for different purposes. We are still waiting for the glass doors for the studio as well as the other equipment. The next area on the second floor is the computer game design and animation area. Again, you will see a very large empty area for now. Computer strips and stations are already installed and ready for the new devices to come in. Outside of the room, on the second, third, and fourth floor are collaboration areas for students to work in small groups. Finally, on the third floor, you will find our two creative writing classrooms that are separate, but will be connected by a sliding door. This room will be a flexible space to help house our writers for a variety of different needs. So we have now come to the end of our general information presentation. You have been sent Zoom links to join in a discussion with your individual arts programs at 7 o'clock p.m. on May 26th. If you have other questions, please call or email the school. Check the website and please sign up for the newsletter. We look forward to this fall and meeting all of you in person. Have a fantastic summer. Be creative and stay safe.